All right, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday, June 14th. It's Sunday is presented by Nova Cannabis with the Nomad Cook. I am Chef Travis from the Nomad Cook. And we're here another Sunday morning looking at another elevated brunch dish. So two weeks ago, we made our infused cream. Uh, last week, we then took that cream and made a really nice spaghetti carbonara uh, and add a little bit of capers in there. This is a nice, something a little different you might expect when you're looking at infused edibles. This week, we're going to teach you to make a dish that you can do next weekend for Father's Day, because next Sunday is Father's Day. So it was kind of cool because last month we had my mom on and we did an infused eggs benedict. So what we got here is a smoked salmon and lemon ricotta crepe. So we're going to take some really beautiful fresh ingredients. Uh, we're going to take our infused cream. We're going to add it with a little bit of creme fraiche and make a really nice uh, infused sauce to put back on. Because again, the one thing to remember is when we, once we've made our extractions, once we have those infusions, once we go back to cook with them, once we hit that about 320 degree mark Fahrenheit, we're going to start burning away all the THC. So all that work we've done to infuse the cream, we got to be very selective of how, you know, how we add it in to the final product when we go back and on. So this is perfect because we're going to make a really nice sort of cold uh, little crema sauce to put on top of our crepe. So this is something very easy. So what I'm hoping is we learn here this Sunday, you practice a little bit, then you go out and get all these ingredients. Sunday morning, hey pops, let's, let's make a crepe together. Right? And then you can let them know, oh, by the way, a little bit of cannabis in our crepe. So a couple things we need to do to start off. Uh, first thing we can do is uh, let's go through all of our ingredients. Today, we're working with the Edison Eldorado Cannabis. Uh, THC percentage, 17.2. Beautiful strain. Again, the aroma, really nice and earthy, woody. Um, it's got a really nice, as again, being a hybrid, uh, nice sort of balance in there with the terpene load that we're gonna see. So, um, transition beautifully into a cream. So what we're gonna to need to make the actual dish, let's go through everything. We're gonna need some all-purpose flour. We're gonna need some creme fraiche. You can find this in your local grocery stores like Save On Foods. We need some ricotta cheese. We need some fresh herbs. So we've got some parsley, some chives, some dill. All this growing on my indoor windowsill of my apartment. Again, really easy to grow beautiful. Oh, fresh herbs, it's gonna add just a little bit of extra to your dish. Um, I've gone ahead and pickled some red onions. You can go with raw red onions. I do suggest slicing them very thin. Uh, it's gonna add a really nice balance in there with the dish, but important to do. Um, we're then gonna take one whole lemon. We're gonna juice it first, sorry, first we're gonna zest it. We're gonna take all the zest out. Second, lemon juice. So squeeze all that lemon juice in there. Capers, we're gonna need those. So all those ingredients are what's gonna go on top to make our crepes. We're gonna need some milk, some eggs, the flour, a little bit of sugar, some salt, uh, and the vanilla. Uh, all really simple. Again, going back, getting yourself prepared, right? Dad may not be into the full fact of sitting there and doing all this prep, so, you know, before he gets out of bed, before he comes and joins you in the kitchen, if you have all this set up, he's going to be a little more inclined. And listen, Dad, you're going to have the best crepe of your life. You're going to sit on that couch. You're not going to want to do anything for the rest of the day but chill. And trust me, that's all Dad wants, just to chill. All right? Okay, so let's do this. Again, I will touch on all these ingredients as we're going through and starting to make everything. First thing we're gonna do is let's make our batter for our crepes. All right, we need a cup of flour. So one important thing, anytime we are doing anything sort of baking related, we're using flour and everything, um, using measuring cups is super important. Baking is a science, cooking is a passion and love. Once you start messing with science, 
bad things happen. <laughs> so measure your stuff up. Okay, so we got that in there. Sifting it, we're gonna break it up. Any of those clumpy bits of flour is gonna make it nice and aerated. Very nice. We're gonna put salt in there. Okay. Next are eggs. So, the difference between making a crepe and a pancake, obviously, is the thickness. The really important thing with the crepe is to have a really nice, smooth, runny batter. Okay, so we're going to make a little well. Let's wash our hands first. Make a little well. I'm gonna break our eggs in there. One, two, three, four. All right. So again, the key with breaking eggs: don't do it on the edge of the bowl. You're more likely to get a chip of an eggshell in there. We don't want to do that. All right. Break our yolks up. We'll start whisking this around. Getting really nice. Okay, next. We got our milk. So we're gonna add about a half a cup now. And then we're gradually going to add the rest later. Right. Now, you know, I think most people, when you're starting to make this dish, you would assume, oh, this is the opportunity. This is where I want to put my cannabis in the crepe batter. Now we can, but again, take into that consideration that when we're going to cook the crepe, it's going to be directly on the heat. We'll be burning away some THC. So all of a sudden, that ability to know exactly how many milligrams are serving someone else, there's a variable in there and gets thrown off. So kind of look at the dish of where we can incorporate the cannabis in there, the THC particles. You know, if I was doing a CBD focused crepe, you know, that would be fine because I could go with a higher dosage of CBD into the crepes, knowing that I'm gonna probably lose about 60, 70% of the compounds. All right. So you can see the batter here. It's, it's, a, it's thick, right? It's a little runny. We're still gonna add a little cup more of water, but would you know? And just a little bit of vanilla. Okay. And we're gradually gonna whisk in the rest of the milk. By slowly whisking it in, we're making sure we're fully emulsifying all the flour and eggs and everything with the liquid. It's gonna be a really nice running batter. Nice and smooth. Myself here, so 
if it does look too liquidy, I mean, you can tell the difference between, you know, liquid and a little bit of thickness in it. Add a little bit of flour. Sift it in. And drop it. All right, and that is our crepe batter. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Next up, let's grab a bowl here. Cottage cheese into the bowl. Like that. Next up, we take our herbs. So now we're done. Is I diced my chives up. We're gonna add that in there. Now. Um, this is the dill here. We can go dice that up and add it in as well. Um, I'm gonna get a little chefy with how I played it. It was beautiful little fawns of dill. Um, it's gonna look really nice on the crepe. So if you want to impress that person, dad, whoever you got over that morning, um, you can actually keep the fawns and we'll add them in a little bit later. We've got our parsley here. Now, when we are cutting up herbs, you don't want to sit there and just beat away at it. You're really going to end up bruising the herb and, um, you know, would really lose that, that pot of its own botanical terpene sort of coming up. So we want to take a nice rough chop of the parsley, add it in there. That's just a little pinch of salt, a little pinch of pepper. Now, I had a cucumber that needed to be used. It was just a little bit left in my fridge. I uh, just diced a little bit up. It's not on the recipe, but hey, this is the fun part of cooking. Cucumber would be really nice. What this ricotta cheese is gonna do is give us really earthy, herby, beautiful, soft, creamy texture when you bite in to really complement the smoked salmon. Okay. The nice thing about adding that cucumber in there, it's um, you know nice and light, it matches. Okay, this is our ricotta, and uh, you know this is kind of a, a an example. Or uh, that's what I'm looking for. I usually see food and cheese; they don't really mix. In some cases, they do. Ricotta cheese, nice and light. Uh, it's really going to add to that smoked salmon. Really good, really nice balance there. Okay, the second stuff we want to make here, got our ricotta cheese. Okay. Now, got our lemon zest. Okay. And then our lemon juice. Just like that. Take a whisk, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. All right. You know, you want to be using proper mixing bowls probably when you're doing this. Beautiful citrusy, 
creme fraiche. And now we're gonna add the cannabis. So again, we're gonna, we traditionally you'd probably think put the cannabis in the crate, but we're not gonna be able to control it what's in there, okay? So using the Edison El Dorado, we made a little bit of cream here, okay? I know I've got 25 milligrams per tablespoon, okay? I've probably got about six portions worth of creme fraiche in there. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons, 50 milligrams into my creme fraiche, which means when we go to add it on to our crepe, we can really aim around that five to seven milligram. Um, you know, we can easily go two, three milligram, just a light little bit on. One part you can do as well, when we make this creme fraiche, what you can do, divide it in half, or you know, take a quarter away, keep it with no cannabis in it. Clearly mark it, add in this then, you know, subtract the amount, whatever percentage of you were took away, you know, we want to make sure we take away the amount of cannabis we added. So, go and add two tablespoons. Okay. But I'm having the cannabis in there. But yeah, you know, maybe, maybe not everyone in the family. Maybe you've got some uh, younger brothers and sisters or cousins or nieces or someone in your own family. You know, this is how we can offer everyone everything, you know. Now, if you have a squeeze bottle at home, this will really help. You don't have to, but um, you can also just put this on with a spoon and drizzle around. However, I want to impress Dad, so I went out to the dollar store. Got. <laughs> All right, and if you're wondering again how to make the infused cream, you can go back. Nova Cannabis has it up on their Instagram and Facebook video us showing how to use different pieces of equipment. All right. So this is our infused portion of this dish, right? But you can also leave this out, right? If you if you don't divide it up, you only make this, and then someone's like, I don't want any cannabis. Okay, well, you don't get any of the good sauce. Right? Okay. Well, let's get cooking. Let's get cooking. So if you're from Alberta, I'll be out there the last two weeks of July. Available for private functions in your house. We'll be doing a couple pop-ups. Just uh, follow the Nomad Cook to find out on that. All right, this is on. Nice little heat. We'll let this heat up. Gonna While this is heating up, let's just do a little tidying and organizing. We take all our ingredients that we're going to use. This is how you keep mom happy on Father's Day. Make sure she doesn't have to come in and clean up after you because you're an adult. Right. 
So, first, let's grab some butter, get it on the pan. That pan nice and greased up so that our crepe, we can easily flip it. Nice thing with these crepes as well, you can also have this portion done before you add, ask Dan to come in. Here's the thing, maybe Dan doesn't like to cook. You can make him think that he cooked if you just prep and get everything done. Right, he kind of comes, he grabs the crepes, it's done, boom, 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 puts it on. You tell him about the sauce, the sauce goes on. All of a sudden, Dad's cooked infused food. Go to work and brag about it. Next week for Father's Day, on actual Father's Day, we're gonna, do, we've kind of hit like our savory dish last week, you know, uh, we did our nice like carbonara. This week we've um, done, uh, you know, a beautiful elevated breakfast dish. Next week we're gonna, we're gonna hit the spot, the munchies, the feel good, the sit on the couch, all right? So, be looking forward to that. Pants heated up. Again, I'm on like, I would say a low high. So on your little uh, oven top there, you know, about a four. We don't need to be that hot. Okay, take a ladle. Okay. And just drizzle it around. One scoop's worth. And then take the pan and twirl it around. Kind of let it spread out. It's coming together nicely. I mean, this is the perfect dish to sort of impress anyone. You don't have to be an experienced chef or cook to do any of these steps. Get some beautiful ingredients, some, the smoked salmon, the ricotta cheese, uh, a little fresh herbs. You make the crepe, but you are impressing someone with this dish. Hey, maybe you don't have anyone to cook for and you just want to impress yourself. Do it. All right. Could have been a little hotter. Start to come together nicely. Again, you don't want to start with your pan too rip more hot. You're just going to burn the first couple of batches, right? We can start at a lower temperature and work our way up. Okay, flip it.
Now again, I would sit and make all the crepes all at once. We're just gonna do the one here today, but whatever the amount of batter you make, just sit there, get them all made. You can do them ready, go. You know, make the crepe, give it off, then the next person come by. It's almost like a little buffet station here with all the different toppings and everything that we're gonna use, so. Okay, we're just gonna get that nice brown crisping on it. I probably did start at too low of a temperature here. You shouldn't have to flip it multiple times, but I wanna get the first one looking beautiful, so. So, because we got all these beautiful, turn this off, because we got all these beautiful ingredients, we don't want to do the traditional crepe format of wrapping and rolling it up. So, we're going to build on top, and it's going to look beautiful, okay? All right. So, crepe into the plate, just kind of like this. We're gonna pull it up. We want it nice and folding over. It's gonna help us sort of start to get artistic and build. Next up, we've got some beautiful smoked salmon. I'm gonna do, just gonna go at it and kind of fold it in with the folds. of the crate. Okay. Okay. Next, we take our ricotta cheese. I'm just gonna add it in like little clumps. Our red onions. So, again, I pickled these red onions. If you don't know how to pickle stuff, it's two parts vinegar to one part water, one part sugar. So, two cups of vinegar, one cup of sugar, one cup of water. Boil that, um, you know, add a bay leaf and some peppercorns and different sort of hurt, like spices in that to give it some more flavor. Uh, and then slice up your onions, add it and boil it for a little bit, remove it off the heat. You don't have to pickle your red onion. Um, I really like the acidity here that it's gonna offer. And really, again, just kind of make for that perfect bite. Boy, oh boy, is this looking beautiful. Okay. 
Next, our capers. Okay. So yeah, I, I think, you know, if your dad's new to cannabis or maybe has been against it and does, you know, you ask him what he th his th what he thinks an edible is, he'd probably say brownie, cookie, gummies, right? No, dad. It's a smoked salmon and lemon ricotta crepe. That is cannabis cooking. Okay, that one's a little aggressive. Little aggressive. All right. This is me getting a little artsy, but hey. Oh, this dill just smells beautiful. You know what? I missed a step with the dill. We want to add our infused sauce. We don't want that on top. Okay. So we're not going to add any salt on here. The capers are going to add that in there. Again, we probably want about a tablespoon on here. That's going to give us about um, five milligrams of cannabis. Okay. Now, back to our beautiful dill. What we get here too, again, we always eat with our eyes before we have a taste. And the contrast of colors, beautiful. Just beautiful. All right. How about that? A Sunday morning breakfast. Here we go. This is a smoked salmon, lemon herb, ricotta crepe. The infusion is in our creme fraiche sauce uh, with a little bit of lemon juice, lemon zest, the creme 